Hi everyone, Brittany here from Elise Ten Designs. Today we are going to be making a waist stay and that um, is a little belt that goes inside of a garment to sort of support it. And you can do this with two different types of ribbon. Up top here is the Peter Sham. It feels a lot nicer on the skin on the inside and um, it's got this kind of ribbed effect, a lot more give to it. The other is a grow grain ribbon and you can find it in any fabric store. So for that reason, that is the one we're going to be using today for our waist day. You want to start off by measuring your waist seam. So you take a nice tape measure here and start at the zipper or the edge of your seam and you're gonna measure all along the seam um, right sort of above the seam line there. Um, when you get to that figure at the end, um, you will add about four inches to the stay and that's gonna account for the end overlap. So mine was 38, I'm now cutting it at 42. You are now going to take the ends here and we're gonna fold them over one inch and then again another inch. So the raw edges are all encased. Go ahead and sew those three sides on each end of the waist day. So once you have both ends sewn, you're going to end up with something like this. You want to flip it over. The side closest to your body is going to be the side that you sew the hook and eyes on. So two on each side. I like to put um, the hooks a little closer than I have there at the edge just so that they're sort of overhanging a bit and then I do the loop side. Um, just right up against the edge of the fold there. Just like that, we have them all sewn and now we're ready to attach to the waist seam. And to do that, we measure an inch and a quarter and we pin that placement there just so that we have a marking of how far away from the edge we're gonna go. Um, then you take the whole waist stay and you divide it into four equal parts. So. You line up your pins, you divide it in half, mark that, and then you divide the next section in half again. So you do that so you end up with four equal parts into the waist stay, like so. So I have four pins all marked evenly along the waist stay. And you're gonna do this is exact same thing on the actual seam of your garment. But instead of an inch and three quarters, we're gonna mark two inches. This will allow the waist stay to be a little shorter and to provide the zipper, um, it will bring it closer so there's less stress on that waist seam when you're closing up the garment. Um, so I start sewing um, right on top of the waist seam so it's running right through the middle of my waist stay and I start with a nice backed up stitch, something really secure and that will stay put. And you wanna do um, running stitches. I'm doing them a little bit longer than you should do it for a final um, garment. I am going to be fitting this later, so they are a little, I left them a little long than probably I would on the final. Use a long needle and uh, continue the entire length of your waist stay to the very end and you should end up with something lovely like this that will provide um, strength and support to heavy skirts and give that zipper um, a stress-free look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've learned something. Um, leave a comment below, suggest a video topic. 
Um, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and I will catch you guys next time. In the meantime, happy sewing.